Okay, um, good morning. My name is Julia, and I'm going to be um, taking care of you today. I'm a nursing student from Bellarmine University. Before I take care of you, I just want to go ahead and do my hand sanitizer. Okay. And I'm going to be checking your name and your birth date, so let me move this table out of the way today. Okay, go ahead and tell me your name and date of birth. May Lee, 15XX. Excellent. Again, May, I'll be doing range of motion. We're going to be doing the upper extremity, so we're going to start at your shoulder. We're going to end up with your fingers. Let me go ahead and raise your bed to a working height. If at any time during this range of motion you experience pain or I can feel any resistance, we're going to stop. So just let me know. And I'll ask you again later if you're having any pain. That's a good working height. Since I can work with your arm, I'm going to lower this rail. That way you can get up and close. And I'll be uh, cupping your arm and trying to move it gently. Okay, um, let me move your pillow up just a little bit so it's not in the way. All right, we're going to begin with the shoulder, and we're going to be doing flexion and extension. I'm going to do each motion three times. Flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Now we're going to do abduction and adduction. I'll be moving your arm out to the side. Abduction. Abduction, 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 abduction. Now we're going to be doing some internal and external rotation. You're going to hold, hold your elbow and move your forearm. So external rotation, internal rotation, external rotation, internal rotation, external rotation, internal rotation. Are you experiencing any pain? No. Good. Let's finish up with some circumduction. Nice gentle circles. One, two, three. One. And I'm not feeling any resistance. Okay, we're done with the shoulder. Let's work with your elbow now. And we're going to be turning your palm up and doing flexion and extension. Flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Now the forearm. For that, we're going to do supination, palm up, pronation, supination, pronation, supination, pronation. Now we're on to your wrist. We're going to begin with adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Okay, let's work with your fingers now. We're going to do your flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. We're going to do your abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction. Let's work with your thumb. We're going to do flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. I can also have you do this by making a fist for flexion. And now let's do your abduction and adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction, and finish with opposition. Okay, let me put you in a comfortable position, put my side rail back up, move the bed back down, and I'll make sure that you have your call light in reach. I'll bring your bedside tray over and we'll make sure that your bed is in a low locked position. Excellent. And I'll use hand sanitizer before I leave your room. Thank you very much. I've entered my patient room. I'm using hand sanitizer. Good morning, Mr. Ortiz. My name is Julia, and I'm going to be your nursing student today, and I'm going to be performing range of motion on your lower extremity. Um, before we begin, let me just finish my hand sanitizer here. I need to identify your name and your birth date. So let me move this table out of the way and look at your armband. Go ahead and tell me your name and birth date. Diego Ortiz, 311XX. Excellent. Okay. Um, I'm going to be bringing your bed to a working height, 
and during this time, I'll be doing your range of motion uh, three times for every part of your joint that I'm working with. Please let me know if you have any pain, and if I feel any resistance, we're going to stop before any point of resistance. Let's pause it. Pose the area that I'm working on. Since I'm working on your feet, I'd like to go ahead and put gloves on. We're going to begin with the larger joint and move down to your smaller joint. Again, please let me know if you have any pain or if I feel any resistance, we're going to stop. I'm going to begin with flexion and extension of your leg, and I can do this two ways. I can raise your leg up for flexion and extension, or I can bend the knee, but now I'm working with your thigh for flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. Any pain at all? Okay. Let's go ahead and do abduction and adduction of your leg. Abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction. We're going to do some internal and external rotation. So internal rotation, external rotation. Internal rotation, external rotation. We're going to do some circumduction now. Moving your leg around. And if I need to, I could bend your knee slightly and continue to do your circumduction. And we're going to do flexion of the knee and extension. Flexion of the knee and extension. Flexion of the knee and extension. And let your leg rest. Okay, we're done with the knee. Now we're going to go to your ankle and we're going to do some flexion extension of your ankle. So, dorsi flexion, plantar flexion. Dorsi flexion, plantar flexion. Dorsi flexion, plantar flexion. Now we're going to do inversion, where the bottom of your sole is going in. Sit here. Eversion. 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 Inversion. Eversion. Inversion. Eversion. Any pain at all? Excellent. Let's move to your toes. We're going to do abduction and adduction, abduction, adduction, abduction, adduction, flexion, extension, flexion, extension, flexion, extension. All right, let me go ahead and cover you back up, put you to a low level. Your side rails are up. Your call light is in reach. I'm moving your bed to the lowest position, and I'll make sure your bed is locked before I leave your room. Okay, and I'll put your personal items within reach. I can take my gloves off. Thank you so much. And do my hand sanitizer before I leave the room.